What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. Today we have a brand new iOS 18 vulnerability compatible with all devices that was released. This one could potentially be useful for jailbreak purposes and for iOS customization purposes. So we're going to get into it in a second. This video is brought to you by 8K Sec Academy. If you want to learn everything about iOS, how it works, how to create exploits and how to find vulnerabilities, as well as how to create your own jailbreak, they provide a master mobile security course, which essentially contains a lot about iOS, about Android, and stuff like that. They even have offensive iOS internals over here, which goes in depth about the operating system, the kernel, reverse engineering, finding vulnerabilities, exploiting them, and even creating your own jailbreak because you get all the knowledge that you need for that. These are actually quite great. They go in depth if you always wanted to learn how to make your own jailbreak or how to find these bugs. For example, the bug that we essentially are going to talk about in this video. So what is this bug? Well, Tommy posted this a couple of days ago. Quote, I've been told that my online activity has been dead for years. So after a friend's suggestion, I've made a simple POC or proof of concept with a little description for CVE 2024-44285. So it's an iOS surface proof of concept in here. And uh, we have this GitHub repository containing the proof of concept. This is the code that you can run to trigger the vulnerability. Remember, this is not an exploit. It's a proof of concept. It's a vulnerability and this code essentially just triggers it. Now we also have something from this person over here, 34306. This is essentially essentially an application that uses the same vulnerability in order to crash the device. So it successfully exploits the vulnerability, triggers the vulnerability in order to make the device just reboot. It's not useful for jailbreaking this application over here. It just proves that the vulnerability does work. And with this, you can actually test if the vulnerability works on your device. Now, if you want to learn more about this vulnerability, they do have an entry on the National Vulnerability Database over here on Nest. And you can see exactly which devices are affected, but it is actually present in Apple's changelog as well. And you can see it's iOS surface over here. It says an application may be able to cause unexpected system termination or corrupt kernel memory. Now, this is a use after free type of vulnerability. It supports iPhone tennis. It supports iPhone tennis and later. So all devices, all modern devices are supported. You already have a proof of concept for it over here, which is actually quite great. Now, would you be able to use this vulnerability for a jailbreak like dopamine? Probably, probably not. The vulnerability itself is actually powerful. It's quite powerful. It's a kernel vulnerability. However, being a use after free with all the mitigations that are present in modern iOS, the success rate for this exploit is probably atrocious. However, you could theoretically still create an exploit for it and it could theoretically still be used for jailbreak purposes. You may need to chain it with different exploits, especially on newer iOS versions for, you know, PAC and stuff like that, point authentication codes, but that's what every exploit needs to do in order to create a jailbreak on iOS and modern devices. So it's not particularly this exploit being weak. Another place where this exploit would shine is in applications like Miseka X and Nugget and Kawabanga and stuff like that. Those tweaking applications, customization applications for iOS 17 and 18 that essentially modify the system files just a bit to allow various tweaks and, you know, various modifications on iOS, like bringing back the old photos UI on iOS 18 or enabling Apple intelligence on devices that don't naturally support it by default or not yet. Enabling top to wake, SOS collision, changing the clock UI, maybe even changing icons and stuff like that. These actually could definitely benefit from this kind of vulnerability once this one is exploited. Right now, it's in the stage of a POC, proof of concept. Anybody who has the knowledge can create an exploit for it. Um, so we're going to wait and see what's going on. This was patched in iOS 18.1, but it should not update to iOS 18 at all at the moment. If you're running iOS 18.0 point something, stay where you are. If you're running iOS 17, stay where you are. Do not update further. So thank you for watching. I am GS Snow. Till the next time, peace out.